What's going on? In this video, I'm hopefully gonna help you decide between MIG or TIG for your first welding machine. Okay, before we get started, uh, as I was playing this video out, it kind of made me realize how complicated of a topic this could be. So these are just my opinions and what I would be looking for if I was ready to purchase my first welding machine. If you already have some experience, you probably already know what direction you might be leaning. Um, I divided it up into four categories based off of project type that you think you might be doing, starting off with various, just all types of metal, who knows what you're gonna be doing. Uh, the second one is small, thin projects, you know, thin little intricate pieces. Uh, the next one would be pieces of equipment or furniture. And then obviously you have your on-site repair type projects. And then the three machine types we're gonna be looking at is the AC-DC TIG, the DC only TIG, and a MIG machine. I'm not really gonna talk about stick because I don't do a lot of that. Plus a lot of our units come combo and they can also stick weld, especially on the TIG side. Uh, I will mention stick briefly later on probably. Starting off with project category number one, that's the various all types of metal. That's where you wanna be able to switch from project to project to project, from this type of metal to this type of metal, steel to aluminum, whatever, quickly, easily. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think you should get an AC, DC, TIG machine. That's what I would do personally. Uh, it's the most versatile. That's where I started off when I bought my first welding machine and that's just what I would do. Next is project category number two, which is the small, thin projects. Now there's two ways you could go with this. It could actually be a project, or you could be doing body work, you know, car restoration, race car body work, whatever. Um, if you're actually gonna do the body work stuff where you're gonna be tacking a lot of sheet metal door panels, I would actually get a MIG welder for that. Uh, it's much quicker. You can do it one-handed while you're holding the pieces. You can have a backer behind it. Um, that's Anybody I know that does any of that kind of work just does a lot of that spot welding with a MIG machine. If you are gonna be doing the project oriented stuff, this is like maybe little sculptures, lots of little small, tiny little detail oriented work. Uh, there's a couple ways to go about this. Uh, one thing to consider is do you have a welding table? If your answer is no and you don't plan to, then I say you scrap the idea of doing this, these small intricate projects because I can't imagine doing it without a table. Now, if you do have a welding table or you plan on building one, we can move on to the next thing that I would consider, which is budget. So I split this up into sub $500 and over $500. And if your budget is sub $500, I'm probably just gonna go with a DC TIG because you can find those for a lot better prices than one that includes AC. And you can just stick in the steel, uh, titanium. There's a lot of things you can do with just a DC TIG. Just, you just won't be able to do the aluminum projects. If your budget is greater than $500, another thing you might wanna consider is portability or the size of the welder and the footprint it's gonna take in your shop. If you do want it to be portable or take up a small amount of real estate in your space, then a DC TIG as well might be a good option because a lot of them are a lot more compact than their AC DC counterparts. Now, if portability or footprint is not an issue and you have that greater than $500 budget, I would definitely go to the AC DC TIG machine for the versatility, and you'd be surprised on how small machines you can find nowadays. Next up, say you're that person that wants to build equipment or furniture. Equipment would be like, you're gonna build your own welding table, you're gonna build racks for your shop, you're gonna build furniture for your house or other people's houses. The first thing I would consider with that is do you care more about speed or looks, really? I think a TIG weld looks very, very nice, but a MIG weld can also look nice and is much faster. So if speed and production time is where you would be focused, then I would go with the MIG machine. Now, if you're looking for the looks, the next stage would be, before you even just automatically jump down to a TIG machine, is the capabilities of your shop. What kind of cutting tools do you have there? Do you have very nice big band saws that can cut really, really precisely? Uh, do you wanna take the time and cut everything perfectly by hand? How are you gonna cut stuff? If your cutting capabilities is just close enough, then I would still go with the MIG machine because you're gonna be able to fill in those little tiny gaps a lot easier, a lot faster. And with a TIG machine, you really don't want any gap when you're welding up something. Now, if you have precision cutting capabilities or you can figure out a way to get all your clearances really nice and tight, 
Then I would just move over to that budget category that we had before and go through that flowchart again to see which type of TIG machine you would end up with. Last but not least is the repair category. Uh, I kind of found this one the hardest to define. In my mind, you'd be going out and doing general repairs on whatever it is you need, depending on your situation, really. Uh, starting off would be like equipment or trailers, that kind of stuff. Say you're on a farm, you have equipment that cracks a lot, you need to bring the stuff out there. I would probably go with a MIG machine for easy use, especially if you're by yourself, you got that one-handed operation, stuff might be a little dirty. Um, on a MIG welder also, you can put in the flux core wire and then not have to carry a gas bottle. It should be mentioned that a lot of TIG machines can also cross over and weld stick. So you could use one of those and also avoid having to take out a gas bottle. So that's worth noting. Next up is if you're gonna be needing that portability, but you're for sure only gonna be working with say mild steel, stainless steel, maybe some titanium, then it would be okay to go with the DC only TIG machine. You might save a little bit of money and you're probably gonna get a little bit more compact of a unit to bring out wherever you're going. You would have to carry a shielding gas and obviously find a power source would be the downside to that. But that's what I would go with if I knew that's what I was gonna be doing. If the last one is if I was gonna be doing a lot of aluminum and then some other types of material and switching back and forth a lot, then I would go with the AC-DC TIG again because you're gonna be able to switch so quickly, you're not having to switch out the wire in your MIG machine, it's just gonna make it a lot more versatile for that kind of stuff. This is a good time to talk about this video sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Whether or not you want to learn a new skill or expand on one you already have, Skillshare probably has a class for you. All the graphics that I've used in this video, I made using Adobe After Effects, and while After Effects can be an intimidating program to get started in, Skillshare has a great class by Evan Abrams called Introduction to Adobe After Effects. So not sure how it could be much more perfect than that. But if that doesn't interest you, don't worry because Skillshare has tons of classes across illustration, graphic design, photography, video production, and a lot more, all for less than $10 a month. So if you're interested in trying out Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to click the link down in the description will get a free trial of their premium membership so you can start exploring your own creativity. I hope this video gave you some kind of direction on where you might want to head when purchasing your first welding machine. When I was making the decision for myself, I already had TIG welding experience and the fact that I wanted to be able to do some aluminum and steel and I was working out of my garage and I wanted to be able to switch quickly, that led me towards getting a used ACDC TIG welding machine. I'll leave links down below to the manufacturers that I work with. You can check out everything they have to offer. There's prices all up and down the range with them. Uh, I will say the whole time that I had that TIG machine though, I was waiting and waiting and waiting till I could finally afford a MIG welder because I, the last thing I wanted to do was build a big steel table and TIG weld the whole thing. It just would take forever. So both processes have their advantages and disadvantages for sure. Hopefully this video simplified it for you. I mean, I don't know what could be more simple than this. I mean, just look at that, simple. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, I'm Justin Voss. I make welding and fabrication videos here on YouTube. I hope you consider sticking around and subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, there's gonna be a video that pops up right here in a second. And I'll see you next time.